What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Another Vintage Cube Draft. No idea what direction to take with this uh, weird pack. I it might just be Pestermite. Pestermite does leave us open. Necromancy is also pretty sweet. I like Necromancy a lot. I'm going to take the Necromancy. And someone passes us a Time Walk and a Grim Monolith. That's pretty good. That's pretty... Yeah, all right. I'm going to take the time walk. I love a Grim Monolith, as you all know. It's no time walk. Thank you! Oh, Chor with the resub. Welcome back. Always a pleasure, my bro. Oh, we get we go from time walk to treachery. You guys call this treachery or treachery? What do you like? What do you guys like to say? It's it's always hard to pronounce made up magic words. So you know, I think I, I think I go towards treachery. Anyway, we're taking the the treachery. How's it going? Hope you had. Oh yeah, Christmas was good. Didn't we? Didn't we talk about this recently though? Didn't we have a post-Christmas talk on Saturday? Maybe not. Either way, I hope your holiday was great, Unforgiven. Mine was pretty good. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Okay, we got a necromancy. <laughs> um, I might just say Frost Titan here. Let's take Frost Titan. Oh, Torrential Gear Hulk. So we have so the thing about Torrential Gear Hulk is it always excites me because I'm like we could get some cool stuff for it, but at the time, we never have any cool stuff for it. And then at the end of the draft, I'm like, oh, we didn't we didn't get any cool stuff for it. So <coughs> all right, I'm just gonna take Solemn Simulacrum. Um, reason is we already have a good six drop and, uh, oh, control magic. We're just going to steal all their things, right? Yeah. So greater men than me would take high tide in that pack, I'm sure. Oh, Choops. I actually like Choops a lot. Trinket Mage doesn't do much for us. Shieldred's nice if we are reanimating somehow. We already have Control Magic and Treachery to deal with creatures. I'll take the Shieldred. I think it gives us a nice little hedge against, uh, or towards, towards our Necromancy with Force of Negation. Okay, I'll Force. Better than Lotus Petal, better than Masterminds. Plus we have enough blue cards to make it worthwhile right now. Gaunti is sweet. Alright, I'm liking... This is just a pretty basic blue-black mid-range deck that kind of wants to reanimate and wants to steal your your children. Well, to be fair, this never has Flash. I've never cast this with Flash ever. I think maybe I've cast it once with Flash at the end of the turn. Or like to block and not die. <sighs> Opposition Agent. Man, this card is like... I keep trying to have, like, the blowout moment with Opposition Agent. We haven't had it yet. But we'll have it in hand, and we'll be tapped out, and then they'll, like, search with Demonic Tutor or, like, a fetch land or something, and we're feeling like... We, we can see the potential. Okay. 
Okay, makeshift mannequin is probably better than rager. But also maybe not. I don't know. I'll take mannequin. Ah, uh, Yorion is fine. Blinking Solemn or Gonti. Or Frost Titan even to like reset it to, to just tap another thing down. Wow. Three white cards. Okay. Alright. Nothing great here. No big fatties to reanimate. No tier one black or blue cards. I don't think Yorian's a trap because you don't build around it. Like it's just it's just a card. Like it's just a four or five flyer for five. Like there's no I don't I don't I don't feel like that can trap you into anything. Like I I don't know. I, I think I know what you're saying, but I don't think trap is the correct word you want to use. Like a trap is something that changes the direction of your draft and your mindset in order to like get you to do something that the payoff is not worth. Whereas Yorion, like even as a four or five for five that blinks like one thing, it's still totally fine. Yeah, I think it's Meyer. I'm not I don't I don't think this Emerkle's great, let alone Nardek. Baleful Strix is sweet. Snapcaster Mage, we have Time Walk. Also Factor Fiction. There's several cards that I, I would not mind coming back from this pack. Um, I think we're gonna take Snapcaster though, because we already have Time Walk. So that's cool. Plus I think Snapcaster has some of the highest upside. I drafted around it because I got it, and then my deck ended up being not so great. Yeah, but I mean, like, you don't really have to. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like Splinter Twin where you get Splinter Twin and you're like, okay, I have to find, like, the Pester Mites and the Deceiver Exarchs. Like, you could just play this at face, and it's just fine. Yeah, I'm going to take Remand here. So this guy's a guy we can reanimate. So we have no way to discard it, though. We have no way to put it in the graveyard. I think it's just Vendillion Click here. Okay, Ancestral Vision is pretty decent. Glenelendra is also just fantastic. We're going to take the Glen. Where's all the artifact mana? I didn't see, like, anything. I do like Miscalc. This deck's interesting. I'm trying to get that. There we go. That's better. Time Twister? That is a late... Demonic Tutor? That is a late Demonic Tutor. That we're easily taking over Time Twister here. Wow. Recurring Nightmare, Murderous Rider, and Cryptic Command. Wow. I mean, I, I think it's Cryptic Command. I think Recurring Nightmare is great, but I don't think we're a Recurring Nightmare deck. Yeah, uh, that's, that's fantastic. 
now Mirari Conjecture seems real good. We have Time Walk, a bunch of counter spells. Wow, this is this is sweet. Baleful Strix came back. Wow. Dark Petition, sure. Wow, this was a hell of a pack for us. Now all we need is like Fallen Shinobi. Ah, uh, Bone Shredder is terrible, but I'll take it. Hydroid Crassus is splashable. Thassa's Oracle is an option. Sure, all these cards are fine. Like, I don't think we're actually reanimating, like, in a sense that we're discarding this. I think we're just going to cast these on curve because it seems totally fine. And we're just going to necromancy something that they have. We put Mannequin over here. Shell Dock is pretty sweet. Entomb would be great if we were, uh... If we were actually putting, like... Big fat idiots in the graveyard. I think Shelly's Shell Dog is great. Yeah, I think Shell Dog's probably the pick here. Underground Sea. Oh, Underground Sea. That's the perfect card. If Vents or Shriek Maw come back, it's going to be totally fine. Give me a Watery Grave. Still getting still getting bonuses. We could have we could have had Pestermite, Deceiver Exarch, and Splinter Twin so far, which would be sweet. Now we have Moldrifter or Jace, or we can just take a Rakdos Signet. Thank you. I think I like Jace here. Moldrifter is fantastic, but Jace gives us like Necromancy. It gives it gives life to like Necromancy and, and Makeshift Mannequin if we if we want to play that. Knight of Sticks, twenty months. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Fallen Shinobi, the exact card we were looking for. Oh my Thank god, you. it's my favorite. We also have uh, Baleful Strix and Vendillion Click to get in there. Oh yes, we're taking Fallen Shinobi. It is how we do. PC Vogel, 20 months ago, Hajigalashi gifted me a sub, and somehow I'm still around. Hope I'm not paying for this. <laughs> Wish you well for 2021. I don't think so. I don't think you are. Thank you. So awkward. Mark, what up, my dude? Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. Yeah, we're taking Creeping Tarpet. We have tons of playables, and Creeping Tarpet is actual perfect here. Liars. I would never do that. It's getting a little. Let's take Exhum just in case. Deluge seems great. Packrat seems sweet. Karn seems good. Wow, this deck is awesome, dude. 
Yes, yes, Blossom would have been fine with Shinobi. I agree. I'll take Deluge. I, I, we don't have a Deluge-like effect. We didn't take Damnation, so... Someone's Tendrils? If it means one less person's gonna play shitty Tendrils against me, I'll take it. Um, Entomb is interesting. They're gonna give us Entomb this late. I'll take it. Shriek Mod did come back. Oh, nice. This is 23, and I'll, I'm fine with playing this 23 here. I don't think we're animate deading. I think I like this Liliana better. And I can easily take out Yuri in here. Unforgiven, have a good meeting, buddy. Have a good meeting. Whatever that means. Take Kozilek. So what are our blinks? We can blink Mirari Conjecture. We can blink Frost Titan. Reset Shriek Maw. Mel Priest is sweet. Reset Gonti. Really? The one draft we're not able to use these, we get both... Play both. Uh, yeah, when we have a channel, we'll see none of them. The universe is a simulation for sure. This guy, we can reset both of these, which is not super exciting. These have potential applications with the Orion. These have definite applications with the Orion. Wow, last pick pack rat, really? Jeez. Okay, well, I was looking through all my stuff, but I guess it doesn't care about that. Okay. Um, Shriek Maw, reset. This guy, this guy. Yes, yes. Maybe, maybe. Yes. Yes. Snapcaster's likely a little ambitious. So this is interesting. This is a lot of hits for, for a Yorion here. Hmm. We also have tons of good cards in the sideboard. We have Packrat, Jace... Not Jace, uh, Null Priest, Toxic Deluge, Bone Shredder. <sighs> Two Eldrazi in the sideboard that we can never cast. I could see cutting Mirari Conjecture. I think the only sorcery we have are these two. They're both very good, though. Hmm. Yorion instead of Mirai Conjecture. I really do like Null Priest. I think it's just a great card. It gains you life. It's great for Fallen Shinobi because they don't have... If they don't have two creatures to block it. I think Shoulder does, is fine. I think Shoulder is totally fine as a top end card. Especially if we can get it into the graveyard early and uh, reanimate it with like a Jace. I actually might play Null Priest over Necromancy. I think that's probably better. Null Priest does a similar thing for more mana, but... So 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 versus 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 versus 6, 7, 8, 9. This is 10, 9, which I think is probably better. Like, we do have double black, double black, double black, 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 black. We want to... Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. We can probably get on to eight. That's weird. One. Yeah, let's add another island. So, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eleven, nine seems great. 
Yeah, Necro can get stuff from their graveyard. I mean... It's definitely true. But Null Priest also works better with Fallen Shinobi. Like, this is a card we 100% do have in our deck. Whereas Necromancy is a card that sometimes will work against... Uh, you know, for, for them having stuff in their graveyard. Which, A, we have to kill, and B, they have to have. Uh, we're not playing Deluge main deck, no. We'll probably board it a million times, though. All our creatures are pretty small. 2-2, two, 2-3, two, two, three, two, two, three, two, three, one, one, one. So, 2-1. Two, 2-1, one. Two, one, oh, 2 Like, we only have, like, two creatures. Four creatures, I guess, total, that have more than two or three toughness. So, I feel like if we're in a situation where we are toxic deluging we're probably losing our board as well but i mean it is definitely a, a card we're going to bring in if we need it all right let's do it i will play first yeah we'll legit keep this hand I mean, I might just Demonic Tutor for Vendillion Click here. It lets us cast, uh, it lets us have a, a creature to fall and Shinobi back into our hand, and it also lets us make sure the path is clear to do so. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. We just kind of have to hope we hit a land too, I guess, but that should be not terribly difficult. Nice. That is an underground sea. I mean, we're going to actually, like, um, we're not going to do it during their draw step because if they play a flyer, we're just going to do it end of turn. More so because they could tap out, which makes it even better for Walking Ballista. Ulamog, Kozilek, Garrick, Relentless. Uh, I'm actually just going to let them keep all of this. Wow. Ulamog and Kozilek in hand. Uh, I'm not taking Ballista out because we're bouncing this anyway. So we have a 5-4 and a Ballista against a 5-4 does not do anything. Plus, if we take anything out of their hand, it gives them a chance to draw like Beast Within... Come on, spells. Terastodon. Ever flowing in a plains. <laughs> or a forest, rather. Well, that is the probably worst we could have seen. Um, it just does nothing for us. Cast with multi-kicker. Okay, can't do that. <laughs> When it asked me if I play Multi Kicker, I was like, do I get to play it? Alright, so Forest is gone. I mean, of course, they have Oldamog and Kozilek in hand when we're trying to hit with Fallen Shinobi. Yep. This is actually pretty good because now we get to Shriek Maw kill the token and get another hit in. If we hit a land, it's even better because then we. Well, that's not the land we're looking for, but. We do get to play Jace as well, so that's kind of cool. Uh, all right, Baleful Strix it is. Also, we could we could have waited to see if we can uh, hit one of their lands. I always do that. That's my biggest. That's my biggest flaw. Not my biggest. It's one of them. I I think we're just gonna gamble here instead of killing the Garrick. <laughs> Devoted Druid. And a forest that I cannot cast. Um, I mean, if they want to... If they want to hit Jace here, that's fine. Yeah, Ballista can, can, shoot, can shoot click, but, like, we can always... We're going to bounce it, so we can always end of turn get it again. So...
Yeah, that's what we figured they'd do. I'm pretty sure they played one more land. So these are the four we know about. I mean, Liliana getting back Shriek Maul is pretty sweet, so... I do kind of want Opposition Agent for if they finale. Uh, that sounds pretty sweet. Hmm. So one, two, three, four. We're actually missing black sources. One, two, three, four. We're one black source, source shy of being able to catch. Like, it sucks that both of these are black sources. Hmm. I mean, if we attack, they're gonna they're gonna kill this in response. So. They're going to block and kill the Devoted Druid. So I wanted to be able to use it before that happens. I suppose we still can. They did not do that. Alright. Uh, that was surprising. Yeah, all right. So now we're just going to pass with Vendillion Click and Opposition Agent up. <laughs> That's... Oh, boy. So we know you have these three. Ulamog cause like Harmonize, Eternal Witness. I think I just want Eternal Witness. I don't really care about Harmonize. It's going to take your entire turn. Whereas Eternal Witness is pretty good. Get back Walking Ballista. You can fix your mistake. Let's take out the Eternal Witness. And that is fine. I assume they're going to shoot the... Okay. I assume they're going to shoot Click with Garrick. They did not. All right, well, now we're probably going to kill a Garrick. Damn, it just doesn't go on the stack anymore. Hey, buddy. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to keep up Shell Dock in case something happens. Two, three, four, five. So they played Harmonize. I'm sure they played a land. Attack Gary. Attack your face. Attack your face. Now I'm a state-based effect. Hmm. 
Man, Fallen Shinobi's a hell of a drug. Alright, so they have seven. Heartbeat of Spring. So now they have eight mana. And they've played a land, so they can't cast either of these two. Damage on the stack was extremely hard to 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 explain to people, and it, and it functionally made no sense. I feel like we're winning this game. What's, what's the hold up here? T -t -t Today, Junior! You're going to put my Creeping Tar Pit. Uh, let's activate. Black. Oh, we get to tap for a million. Add a black, add a blue. Yep, that was a weird, that was a not, not the ideal target for you. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Yeah, okay. This is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17 damage. And we get a hit with the uh, Fallen Shinobi. I mean, this feels like a toxic deluge matchup. Also kind of feels like a Bone Shredder matchup. Uh, take out Yorion. Also, with both uh, Control Magic and Treachery, seems pretty good against their Fat Eldrazi's. <sighs> Probably take out Remand here. Bone Shredder's ready! Thank you. See in quotes, 50 months, man. Oh my God. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Really, really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. God, 50 months is such a long time. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh boy. Four mana planeswalker. Golgari Signet. Wall of Blossoms. That was not great. <laughs> hmm. Okay, you know. Oh, that could have definitely been worse. That was borderline unimpressive. Why is this taking so long? I just want to resolve my shell dock aisle.
don't know what's going on. Okay. We'll take Glenelendra. Glenelendra is basically a sweet counter spell that goes underneath. Okay. Pretty sure Michael Michael is breaking things in the kitchen. Five mana. Sure. You got it. I'm going to play Sheldock Isle, I imagine. Yeah, Force of Negation is still a counter spell. Another another black land under under the under the thing. I mean, they get a primeval titan, we get a land. Hmm. Regrowth. Wait, what did they regrowth? They regrowth Lotus? Sure. Still can't cast anything. <laughs> so, I mean, they get to play Lotus. Why didn't they regrowth Lotus and then play Primeval Titan? Why did they play Relic of Progenitus? What the hell? Did you get Michael B a card for his cube equal to or less than the... I got it less than because he doesn't have a cube. Why don't you keep breaking things? Oh, that sounds terrible. Land. Oh, love it. You love to see it. <laughs> Give me this guy. You you do have some black black mana in this black white deck? In this blue black deck? Okay, like, none of this is a big deal. We just get to attack the Primeval Titan here. This is pretty good. You're gonna name Sheldock? Sure. What program do you use when you have guest streamers that aren't actually there with you? Um, usually either Discord or Skype. I forgot which. I think it's... For... Yeah, it's either Discord or Skype. I think both work fine. One, two, three, four. Okie dokie. Oh, look, I got a land. Oh, man, this is so nice that they're helping me out with this Primeval Titan mana. Let's get a Tar Pit and an Underground and play our land. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't play Primeval Titan when they got the Lotus back. They had the mana to do it. Instead, they played Relic when we have no cards in our graveyard. I personally am a bit confused by a lot of the things we've seen take place in this game. Oh, right. Well, they stacked Tango Wow correctly, so that's that's good. Uh, 
Mm, yeah, that's no good. Don't like that. Are they named Jace Friend's Prodigy? I mean, this is actually fine. We get to kill Ugin with Creeping Tar Pit and then maybe activate Shriek Maw. So we one, two, three, four. No, we're going to be shy. Jody Merlin, thank you for saying so. Really appreciate it. Hmm. I think it's still more important to kill the, the Ugin here and keep up. Actually, we don't get to keep up anything. One, two, th three. One, two, we're like one, we're literally one mana shy. They negative four. They did negative six. Ugin doesn't start at nine. Ugin starts at seven. The problem is this guy goes up. We have four, five. Yeah, we're just going to, yeah, we can, we can take another hit from Primeval Titan. The black. Actually, realistically, we want to. Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three. Activate you. Oh, the Titan did disappear from our side of the board. God, one more mana. We could actually kill the... No, we can't. We don't have Shriek Maw. We have Bone Shredder. Yep. Oh, man. The Magic 8-Ball thinks we should play Gonti. Wild. So if we if we have to respond to the trigger, and if we put agent into play, they probably just say no. So All right, we can kill this guy. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so. Yeah, we're just going to Bone Shredder, I guess. We still get to keep up Shell Dock. I mean, I'm a little afraid of them having like a 10 mana Eldrazi in their hand. Uh, that would not be good for us. The funny thing is if it's Kozilek, they can draw their four cards and then we can uh, we can shell dock Isle. No, we can't. It's not a it's not a spell. That's not how that works. Well, I don't think anything else is worth playing here. Yeah, that's true. We can Demonic Tutor for Treachery. Yeah, this is why you leave Demonic Tutor in your hand until you want to, until you know exactly what you're getting. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. 
Okay. Well, that's something. Oh, here we go. They hit it. They were like, I just need to draw this one card. I did it. It's a Kozilek. Oh, is it a finale? Oh, finale would be nuts. That's a walking blister. That's kind of worse, I guess. I guess that's not worse. It's actually just fine. What? You're shooting this? I don't understand these decisions. Oh, I guess so they can attack with this guy? Sure. I'm gonna block. And if they want to shoot this guy twice, that's fine. Yep. You got it. God, we still got one more left? Jesus. This Tangle Wire is really doing some work, man. Oh, Kozilek and Blightsteel? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to take the Kozilek because we can actually just cast it if we hit another land. And then I'm going to play this guy because that's basically another land. So that's cool. We can just cast a Kozilek next turn. Yeah, let's do that. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 10 mana. And they have one card. Even if they hit, like, Ulamog, it's still fine because we can... Demonic Tutor Treachery, and that would be their last card. Well, they'd have one card, I guess. But Harmonize, that gives them some cards for sure. Three specifically. Arbor Elf is not the card you want to hit off your Harmonize. We know Blight Steel's on the bottom. They just put a counter on Walking Ballista? Sure. And Eternal Witness to Harmonize. Sounds good. I mean, if they try to cast Harmonize again, I'll definitely force a negation it because I don't think they have much going on. All right. So we just cast four or five, six, seven. I don't even think, I think we just want to keep up Sheldock Isle here. Because we know they're going to harmonize again. And even if we play Kozilek, like, we can't keep this up and a mana for it, so. Yeah, I think we also don't think we even attack here. Let's just make a dude. Oh, he had a time walk and a V-click? Time walk would have been nice. I mean, we've got Snapcaster in here somewhere, so. I mean, they can add three counters to this, putting us to five. Block, block, block. Tarp it to block as well, so. Oh, God. Six mana. Okay. Uh, play the exiled card. So they have Karn, Ugin, Kozilek, Ulamog, and Darksteel Colossus. Blightsteel Colossus. Like, that's a lot.
Yeah, we just have to kill this now because otherwise it kills us. Yep, that's fine. Okay, got three mana. One, two, three. Yep, my alert, sure. Well, Shriek Maw doesn't kill any of the relevant creatures, unfortunately. I think we just have to death and taxes here. Or, uh, not death and taxes. Zach, you think of DT. I think we have to just tutor here for something that gets rid of Walking Ballista. Because we just have nothing that will. Deluge actually almost kills us. Deluge for three puts us to four. They shoot us for three in response. Uh, we threw out once. We have a trophy, but... I think actually Deluge might be the play here. Uh, Liliana has no way to kill a Ballista now. I'm, I'm going to take Deluge. We're going to go to one here. And if they happen to block with Walking Ballista, like, that's fine too. I don't think they have any way to... No, I'm not going to Treachery this guy. I, I'd rather keep Treachery in our deck because we do have... Um, we can Jace, Flashback, Demonic Tutor, and get Treachery because they do have things like Ulamog and stuff in their deck. This is what we wanted. Yes. Oh my god. Now we get to Deluge for one instead. Yeah, that's pretty good. Wow. It's everything I've wanted. And we get to steal two of their two of their mana. You got it. One to Gonti. That <laughs> sounds good. Okie dokie. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jace. Uh... Like, there's nothing they can get back that's really that scary. If they go Demonic Tutor to kill this. Or if they... Not Demonic Tutor. Ulamog to kill Jace. Um... I guess that's a little rough. Heartbeat and Finale. Let's get rid of Finale. So you now you have Heartbeat. Yep, all right. Well, we cannot swing in a tar pit after we've already gone to combat. Yeah, I feel like they're due for an Ulamog, so it's... That's fine. That is completely fine. Surprisingly fine. In fact. Oof!
We hit a Eureka and a Forest. See, this is actually a sweet Eureka deck. Discard you and... Do, do, do. Okay, so real talk, we could have actually just tutored... We could have time-walked and killed them here. Okay, we still will. Um, so... Can we kill them? We got three... Yeah, we can kill them. We can just Snapcaster time-walk here. We just had several different lines here. Okay. That was a hell of a match. Wow, that was great. Everybody having a good time. That was pretty nice. I'm okay with it. Blue seems strong. Blue is a strong color, yeah. I've uh I've heard that before. I will play first. Yeah, you know what? No black sources, but that's okay. Dear Dad, happy holiday, buddy. I'm gonna. Oh God. Oh God. Thank I don't you. like the Fallen Shinobi being under the Fallen Shinobi. 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 I'm adding an L in there. Donut Robot. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, man. Really, really appreciate the support. I'm gonna put the Treachery under there. I think that's the stronger card. Unfortunately, you can't ninjutsu from uh, under a shell dock, so it's like you're just gonna be. You gonna stream New Year's Eve? Yeah, probably. That's just another day to me, man. It's just another day. We're not going to force of negate. We're not going to time walk here. Whoa. This is actually okay. If they want to discard something something spicy, we can always walk it. Or not. God, I keep saying the wrong card. We can force of negation it. I think I'm having I think I'm having a mental breakdown from all the COVID stress. Regisaur. All right. Well, that's a big dude that I probably cannot kill with a Shriek Maw. Baleful Strix is a blocker, though. I might actually time walk here because it lets us do a lot next turn. Shriek Maw. That's the exact card we did not want to see. How funny. Yeah, I'm going to time walk here, and then we're going to keep up Force of neg neg Negration. Force of Negration for our Shinobi. Black Source? Oh, that's kind of nice. I do kind of like Liliana here. I think we just want to keep up Force for our... Because uh... they're going to discard something. They're going to try to reanimate it. We can block here if they try to kill this guy. They're either going to try to kill this and get in, or they're going to try to reanimate. That's... Yep, they're going to reanimate that fat idiot. I mean, I'm 100% blocking Rotting Registor here. I don't know why you'd think I would ever do anything different. Yeah, don't do it. Relax, don't do it. When you wanna do it, relax. Keep that card in your little trash can. 
Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, discarding the get discarding the Frost Titan last turn to Prowler to random it with Lily seems pretty decent actually. Yeah, you can take my Liliana. Yep, it's an easy choice. Uh, you. Cannot, however... F okay, sure. Oh, wow, they got it all. Yep. Wait, they're targeting this? Oh, my God, that's terrible. Wow. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Wow, that's... Wow. <laughs> that's phenomenal. Yeah, do that. Why would you do that? I cannot believe you've done this. Plus we get to treachery because they're going to go to 20. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm actually gonna tap this guy down. I really don't want them to like block and then kill something with it. Because if they choose to kill Sheldock Isle, it's pretty bad for us. I also do not foresee them blocking with Gristlebrand here. But maybe. They can't. They are tapped out. They can't kill Frost Titan, no, but why do they not? What are you saying right now? Interesting. Alright, sure. Wait, what? It's a 6-7, not a 6-6. Six, six. It's good. See, that's what you were talking about. For some reason, I thought this was a 6-5. I don't know why. Yeah, I, I have literal no idea. Can I have this? Oh yeah, draw those cards. That was terrible. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, that's rough. It's okay. I'm wearing the same clown shoes as my opponent right now, so. I'm going to draw seven here for sure. Uh, cryptic command, counterspell, no, literal no counterspells. We have misdirection, uh, miscalculation, remand, and, and, and cryptic command on the deck. We did not hit them. That is quite sad. Man, I can't believe I just threw that, I threw that frost titan away. Oh wow, Terastodon, Iona, and oh good, they're gonna they're gonna living death here, I imagine. Massacre worm. Thank you. Huh. Um sure. I don't love it. In fact I dislike it quite a bit. Okay, that's not the worst. Uh, 
Okay. I mean, this is, I mean, I feel like we're in a decent position here. We have a lot of mana. A control magic. Shriek Maw is pretty bad. But we're definitely going to attack here and probably draw, like, way more cards. Control magic your guy. And then hopefully keep up Cryptic Command. Yeah, the six mana and a, six lands on a mana rock is... It's not, it's not good. So if we steal this, we can't block either of these guys. We can keep click up though. This guy being tapped is unfortunate. I don't want to draw because if we go to two, then we have to find an answer to these guys. Yeah, we're just going to steal this guy for now. In tomb. Sure. The jerkwad? Which one's the jerkwad? They put one Mesmeric Fiend into their graveyard. Sure. Oh, boy. I think we're just discarding a Bloodstained Mire. Thank you! Yeah, we also have, we can discard Shriekmaw and Gonti and, and Vendillion Click to this if we really, really have to. Should we play Tar Pit? No, because I want to keep up four mana in case the worst case scenario we do have to Gristlebrand into a Cryptic Command. Which could also tap their team, to be fair. But, oh, we just win the game. Let's see if we would have hit it. Nope, they're not going to let us. Okay. I'll activate Gristlebrand. No? Okay, you don't want me to do anything? Sounds good. All right, win the game necromancy this is where necromancy comes in uh this is where entomb comes in because they did have exhume right yeah because we brought back baleful strix with it i don't think we want to be exhuming take out shriek maw Boy, Treachery and, and Control Magic are MVPs here. So is Force of Negation. Nope, don't want to exhume. They have much bigger creatures and much more efficient ways to get them in the graveyard. Oh, what up, Sammy boy? Yeah, I don't think Packrat. Like we're, we're guys. Like they have, they have the green eight spells that get from our graveyard. Like they have, they have necromancy. They have, exu they have exhume. They probably have um, reanimate somewhere. So I don't want to put creatures in my graveyard unless I absolutely have to. Like unless it's in response to their exhume or if I have necromancy in hand. Because if I just start throwing frost titans and shouldreds into our graveyard, it just makes it easier for them to cast like their main deck like strategy, which is necromancy, or you know, what have you. I think this is probably fine. Let's take out Yorion, I guess. I think Makeshift Mannequin's fine. I, I don't have a problem with Makeshift Mannequin at all, especially if you're reanimating like a, an Emrakul or an Ulamog or something. 
something big with Annihilator. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, rotting Reggie. Well, that's probably going to kill us very quickly. This is a great set of cards. Put a control magic under here. But I don't think it's going to save us. Into an Iona. Okie dokie. Well, this game's going to go much differently. Yeah, there's actually a ton of cards Makeshift Mannequin is good with. Okay. Sounds good. All named Blue. Woo. Yep, that's the game. Literal onboard dead. Sounds good. There's definitely a situation where a Toxic Deluge for 6 or 7 would have been decent. <laughs> I'll take Opposition Agent out. I don't think they're doing a lot of searching. I mean, I guess they search with Entomb, but that's pretty much it, and this hand is not going to do it. Same exact hand. Okay. <sighs> sure. Keep this. Ship a Treachery and a... click at least everything else I can play bone shredder kills Iona and literally nothing else in their entire deck so that is extremely narrow and a card I do not want to draw 90% of the time wow this is insane amazing <laughs> absolutely incredible they're at five, huh? Okay. Okay. They still got one mana left. They can do whatever they want. <sighs> so slow. Oh. Yeah, there's no world where I don't block this guy. Oh, boy. I'm going to bring him back again. <laughs> oh, Lord. We have a good time. Cool. Toxic Deluge? Nope. Sweet. That was fun. Yeah, opponent had the nuts there two games in a row, so it's it's pretty nice. What can you do? 
the mic hypothesis thank you for the resub buddy welcome back my dude chains addiction i don't know if i said it but thank you so much for the resub really appreciate it see this hand seems good maybe this will be the deck that we can maybe this will be the match where we can finally blow them out with uh op agent we shall see Cool. Yep, that seems like a thing. Oh boy. I'm gonna play a land on my turn. Sometimes you don't draw sometimes you don't you don't hit all the Okay, that's good. Sometimes you don't hit all the friggin' mana acceleration, you know? You just don't open it. What can you do? Thank you! CN quotes with a gifted sub. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. What's happening now? Does your opponents draft Supreme while you draft a regular? I think so, yeah. We got a Demonic Tutor in our hand. They're not going to do anything. You're literally going to play your land tapped that provides your fourth color and then do nothing? I've never heard of such a thing. Well, I'm going to play a Jace Vryn's Prodigy. You're going to counter it? Okay, sounds good. Goodbye, Jace Vryn's Prodigy. Oh, they're going to Fact or Fiction. Okay, we'll give you this guy and an island. That'll do. If they want to combo, they're taking the worst pile. If they just want to riff wing cloudscape my land, they get a good value out of it, so. Either way, Factor Fiction's a hell of a card. This is a surprisingly tough call. If you don't have if you don't have Splinter Twin in hand, this seems like a really no brainer. Oh, <laughs> they took the two. Without a second red source as well, keep in mind. Okie dokie. Oh, look, they're going to get a Keekums McJeekums. This deck is wild. The old four color Splinter Twin Kiki Jiki deck. It's probably just going to be like spell, spell, spell spinner, spell twister. What's that fucking card called? The one that gets like a one or two mana spell seeker, spell seeker. No, that's not it. What the hell is that card called? I literally can't remember its name. I'm going to find it. I'm looking at my cube list. Spell seeker. I was right. Dang it. You guys made me feel like I was wrong. Nailed it. It only took me four tries. It's a totally reasonable number of tries. They got a Venser, played the island, can't Venser me, sounds good, didn't tap my land down. Hmm. Well, we're going to play island here, I don't think we're in a position to want to demo. They didn't tap a land down, fascinating, they have not lost a flip yet, it's pretty good, three flips in a row they've won. It's nine damage I've, I've had stolen from me. It's actually Magic Finder. Dang it. I love that blue card Magic Finder. It finds the magic. Cantrip Locator. <laughs> Spell Twister? What do you call it? I can't think of its name. They didn't attack. Oh, gotta add a little black mana for that guy. Boop, boop, boop. 
They're going to vents her this, I bet. Go ahead, vents her it. I dare you. I dare you. They did not venture it. Let's loot. Yeah, kill it in response, sure. Fascinating. That's also fascinating. I will Thank you. Ship that Liliana. See in quotes another gifted sub, you maniac. I appreciate this this level of support that's happening right now. We know they have Pestermine and Venser in hand. We don't know any of the other two cards. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did they have a brain aneurysm? I have to go to the hospital right now. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on twitch.tv slash franklaporn. Manitraders.com. Great subscription service you can save some money with if you use the link and promo code down below. You can check out Man Cool Stuff Inc. every Wednesday. And uh, be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch. It's a great way to support the channel. It really helps me out a ton. I'm here five days a week at least. And uh, it's a great way for us to hang out and get to know each other. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much for, for watching. If you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But I'll see you later on YouTube.